So what if you are not working on Windows, right? You're working in on a Mac, or you want to write this in a way that is portable between Windows and Mac, okay? What is there to do? Well, we can do a very similar approach, almost the same thing, if we use Python. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that might look like. I'm going to create a new file here, and I'm going to call this Python touchstart.py. Now there's a few things we got to grab here. Uh, we first we need to import OS. The OS module is going to be able to uh, is our access point for controlling a number of these elements. Now I need to point to the tow file. I need to actually point to the file that we're going to use for this. So I'm going to say my tow file. I'm going to use a little variable here for this. And let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead and grab their path. Where does this live? Tow file lives here and it's called what do we call it look at this auto start dot to a u t o auto start dot to and we'll notice right we can see that we've got some escape characters in here now i'm going to go ahead and move away from windows specific paths to paths that are going to work both on windows and on mac so i changed our slashes around here to make sure that we can uh, avoid those escape characters, save us a little bit of headache, and how we wrangle this between different operating systems. So our next task is going to be setting our environment variables. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called tow envvar, and here is where I'm going to put in controller. That's my environment variable. I'm going to do, uh, excuse me. I want the variable name to be called startup, and I want the value that's associated with this variable to be called controller. Now, now I'm going to start two instances of touch, both with this startup variable, but just with different values associated with that. Right? Okay, so what's the Python bit for making this work? So at OS, environ. So here I need to point at what's the uh, variable name. So here's my tow, env var, right? So this is going to be startup, and that's going to be equal to my tow env val. So my value is controller, my variable is startup. Whew, all right? Then we're going to do a nice little os start file. What's the file that I want to start? It's my tow file. Excellent. And then I want to print out, what do I want it to say? I want it to say, hey, I'm starting the file, the scuber, with env val, this thing. We're going to go ahead and format that. It's the tow file first. right? If we don't use keywords, then the order matters here. So tow file goes where file should be. And then the next to that, I want my tow env val. Excellent. All right, so let's save that. We're going to go ahead and take care, take advantage of the built-in terminal here uh, inside of uh, VS Code, so we don't have to open up another command prompt to run this. So I want to use Python, and then I want to use this Python touchstart.py. Okay, so hopefully we should run this. <gasps> there we go, starting file. That's the file I'm starting with my envval controller. Okay, fingers crossed. Hopefully this starts up. And there we have it. So far, so good. All right, so that works. Let's go ahead and see if we can't replicate the same thing that we did, right? which would be, I've got one called controller, I've got one called node, hopefully with any luck. I should see the same thing happen, right? I should see, all right, so there's my controller, there's my node, excellent. If we wanted to offset these with a little bit of time, right, we could use a, a little tricksy um, staggered technique if we needed, for example, one whole project to start up first before another project started up. Not a crazy idea. We might want to do that. And if we take a look over here, sure enough, we've got our node project. 
and we've got our controller project. Okay.